Yet another massive hole has been found in the ATF's new pistol brace rule that would force over 700,000 guns to be destroyed or turned in. I'm gonna break it down for you, but only after I ask you to please support this channel by grabbing some blackout coffee. Go to blackoutcoffee.com slash TGC, buy our signature blend called Tenacity. It's got an extra boost of caffeine and low acidity. Buy a bag, let me know what you think. I would really appreciate it. And it helps me make videos just like this. Now, what? is this latest nonsense. Well, FRAC, that's Firearms Regulatory Accountability Coalition, just discovered that hidden deep within this final rule, ATF has concluded that any foreign-made pistols, such as like an AK with a brace or something like an HK SB5 with a brace, were assembled in violation of the 922R law, which has to do with the amount of foreign parts in a gun. What this means is that because these guns are retroactively being considered to be illegal, Legal rifles, illegally assembled rifles, the registration or removal option that was present as a potential solution by the ATF does not apply to these guns. They're saying that assembling these was a violation and they are illegal. That means the only solution is to be a felon, turn in the gun to ATF, or destroy it. Found on page 247 of the rule, it says the criminal violation under 18 USC 922R is for the assembly of the semi-automatic rifle. Therefore, modification of this kind of firearm through the removal of the relevant parts would not cure the 922R violation because the assembly has already occurred. Nevertheless, for the purposes of the costs outlined in the standalone RIA, ATF assumes this group may use another scenario such as destroying the firearm or turning it into ATF. ATF has actually outlined in that regulatory impact analysis, the RIA report, just how many guns they estimate will fall into this category. As outlined on page 56 of that report, it says over 373,000 could be turned into the ATF and the same number could be destroyed entirely. If we assume that these are separate instances, this is just shy of 750,000 guns to be turned in or destroyed. Not only that, but if we look at the rest of the chart on page 57, the total number of guns with braces, according to ATF, is just shy of 3 million, which is fascinating because the industry estimates somewhere between 10 and 40 million braces existing. That number is way off. Samsonite, I was way off. So what that could mean is that 750,000 number, that might be way higher. So as per usual with the ATF flip-flopping, a lot more people are felons. This is yet a another huge blow to the nonsense that is the final pistol brace ruling. It's like they didn't think we would read this thing thoroughly. I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. Do you plan to comply? Do you plan to register your gun and get a free SBR? Or do you realize how bad of an idea that is? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Also, go buy a bag of our Tenacity Blend to support the channel. Big shout out to Frack for uncovering this latest nonsense. They can be found at frackaction.org.